Uh, so this is my Ragnora Zoo deck. It has, I've played a couple of games with it. I went 1-1, one 2-0, one, oh? I can't remember. It's fine. Like, it's an awkward Zoo deck. I definitely lost at least one game. So I'm like 2-1 maybe, something like that. Um, just abuse the Sarlacc as tech. Oh, yeah. I One of my first boss cheese decks, there was a boss that when it hit your minions, it stole them. So Sarlacc, Gore, Venom Toss, Shadow Dancer, Kaleno, and it just dies in like five turns by without you having to do anything. It just kills itself for you. It's so funny. Uh, anyway, go back to this. So this idea, this deck is built around the idea of playing a zoo deck or an aggro deck in general with the combo of Grit of Fortitude and Wild Inceptor for 10 damage. Uh, and obviously if you have double Fortitude or Primus Fist or whatever, it goes up. Um, Eggmorph is also a perfectly acceptable substitute to Wild Inceptor, especially when you're going for lethal. Also doubles as a really good removal spell, so that's a natural inclusion as well. I didn't go as deep as some people have on the egg synergy. I put in some Dreadnoughts. I saw someone um, someone mentioned this. And I was like, yeah, that sounds great. I've got a single copy of Morinka. Um I think this card is going to be more situational than it appears. Um, and the rest of the deck kind of staples, really. Like, we have some two drops. We have Lava Lance, which is really good with Ragnora. Um, Mystic, duh. Primus Fist, duh. Silithar, duh. Primordial Gazer uh, to make the buffs more consistent. So that we now have six ways to uh, to birth a Ripper Egg, hatch a Ripper Egg, that's the term, and five ways to buff it, plus Primus Fist for extra power. Rage Binder, it's good, it makes eggs. Um, Spelljammer, yep. Lava Slasher, yep. And Macanto, yep. So, like, deck basically builds itself. Oh, there's a Thumping Wave in there as well for more burst. Um, I don't know if this is good. It feels like it's lacking some mid game. Like, you play some two drops and then you play a spell jammer and then, you know, question mark and then a little bit later you tend them. But I don't know if it really works out like that. Um, maybe. I sort of want to say, like, Dessahorn, but the advantage of Dessahorn is that one of your combo pieces digs for your combo. That's Tectonic Spikes. And I guess the symmetrical draw in general. Which this deck doesn't have, so you have to spend a lot more slots on combo setup. Um, I feel like Morinka is great. 7 mana, 15 damage with Fortitude. Yeah. Um, that is true. There's no natural selection just for slots. Like, I don't always play it in Aggro Magma. I, I don't think my Geyser Zoo deck has it either. Um, it's not so much the anti-synergy I'm worried about. Is like, you, just, you need some amount of creatures. And a lot of this deck is dedicated to burst. Like, there's Egg Morphs and there's Wild Inceptors and Critter Fortitudes. Like, you need something to cast all that stuff on. Um, and then you also want, like, your War Beasts and your Lava Slashes because, like, people will play creatures that you need to kill. And these are the most efficient and aggressive ways of doing that. Um, plus Egg Morph, which is a combo piece anyway. So, like, there's already a bunch of removal in here. And Critter Fortitudes also removal. I included a Dampening Wave to make the 3-1 Celerity slightly better. There's a Lava Lance. So, like, especially with Lava Lance dealing 4, Natural Selection is just unnecessary, right? This deck already has, like, what was that, 15 interactive cards? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, uh, 10, 11, I guess. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. <laughs> like, there's a ton of removal, so we're fine. Um... Sani says, hello, any thoughts on the new release duelist cards? Oh yeah, the spoilers. We can go into those in a minute. Um, but briefly, I think they're showing off some pretty good stuff so far. They've spoiled a mechanic called build earlier that I'm very excited by. Um, let's have a discussion of those in a bit, if that's all right. 